welcome back everyone so windows performance is always a concern for each and every windows user and if you want to enjoy the better and the fast performance on windows 10 or 11 then before installing you must deep load windows 10 11 iso to make it a lighter version of windows copy so here in this video we will be using a free tool by chris titus to make a light copy of windows 10 and 11 which will be safe and faster so before starting guys make sure that you hit the like subscribe turn the bell notification on so that you can get all the upcoming video notification you can also join my membership where you can live chat with me to fix any of your pc and laptop problems so the very first thing that you will have to do you need to download the windows 10 or 11 iso from the microsoft website so depending on you, you want to go with Windows 10 or 11, you can download any of those ISO. It's very simple. Let's say that if you want to make the lighter version of Windows 11, then you have to search for Windows 11 ISO download. Hit the enter key. Then you will have to click on the first link of Windows 11. Now here scroll down a bit and you will find download Windows 11 disk image. Click on the drop down, choose Windows 11 multi edition. Click on download now. Choose the product language, click on confirm and then you have to click on 64 bit download and the downloading will now be started. Now it's around 6.3 gigabytes so you will have to wait until the downloading is being completed. And once the ISO has been downloaded, now next what you have to do, you need to click on your windows search, type powershell, right click on windows powershell, click run as admin, click on yes, the powershell window will be up. Now here you have to paste the simple command of Chris Titus that you will be getting in the description. So copy the command, right click over here. The command will be automatically pasted. Now it may download few of the stuff in order to execute the command. So wait and then finally you will be getting this kind of dashboard of Chris Titus tool. Alright so here you get different options like install, tweak, config for which I have already created a video. You can check that video. Now what exactly you have to look here will be the micro win option. So click on the micro win tab from the top menu option. Now you can read here it says micro win feature, remove telemetry and tracking, add ability to use local account, remove Wi-Fi requirement to finish install, ability to remove edge, ability to remove defender, remove team app deep load. So these are the work that will be done while customizing and deep loading the windows copy. Okay, in order to start the process, what you will have to do from the left hand menu option, you will have to click on select Windows ISO. Now, once you click on it, it will ask you that where exactly you have saved your Windows ISO. So locate to the place where you have downloaded, select the ISO, click on open. And now it may take some time to load the Windows ISO. So you will have to wait and make sure that you don't click anywhere or else it will go in not responding. Okay, so simply select it, wait for some time until the Windows ISO has been loaded. Okay, so once it will be finally loaded, you will be getting some options here on the left hand side and it will show you that you have selected Windows 10 or Windows 11. Now while loading, it may take some time, so make sure that you wait for some time, do not click anywhere. And once it will be loaded, now here it says choose Windows SKU, that you have to choose which version exactly you have to go with. So click on this Windows 11 Pro. And now here you can select the ISO that you want to uh, deep load. You can go with Windows 11 Home, Pro or Education, whichever you want to go with. I will be selecting Windows 11 Pro. Then below it says choose Windows feature you want to remove from the ISO. Keep provision packages, keep app packages, uh, keep defender. So you don't have to make any changes here. As I said that this is very simple to operate and everything will be done automatically. Okay, so simply you will have to select the ISO that you want to deep load and that's it. Now click on start the process. Now it will ask you that where exactly you want to save the deep loaded copy of this windows. So you can choose any location that you want to. I will choose to document and the file name I will name it as windows 11 Lite. You can name anything that you want to. Then you will have to click on save. Again, click on start the process. And you only need to click on the start the process once and wait for some time. And if I bring up the PowerShell running in the background, 
so it's still mounting the windows image so it says this may take a while all right so just wait and the process will be started very soon and now you can see the process has been completed it says target iso location mounting windows image remove features from the image removing features complete removing app bloat so wait here until all the process has been completed it doesn't take too much of time i have already tested before so at least wait for five to seven minutes and see that what exactly happened Okay, so finally the debloating has been completed and you will be getting a message done ISO image is located over here. Alright, so if I click on OK, now you can see that all these work are being completed. This is exactly what this tool did on Windows ISO. So if you want to read about it, then you can go ahead and see that what exactly work has been done. Alright, so now if I go back to my document where we saved the ISO, so you can see the ISO has been saved here. It says Windows 11 Lite.ISO. So this is the debloated copy now of Windows 11 that we have created. Now, one thing if you notice here, the size that shows me around 5.32 gigabyte. Let me just right click on it and show you in properties. Here it is 5.32 gigabyte. Now, if I go back and look the real ISO of Windows 11, and if I make a right click, go to properties. So you can see it's around 6.34 gigabyte. So now if I show you the comparison, so this is the real Windows 11 copy and the size is around 6.34 gigabyte. And after debloating it with the Chris Titus tool, you can see that it's around 5.32 gigabyte. So there is a difference of around one gigabyte or more than that. And that's really a huge difference. So now let me go ahead and install this uh, new Windows 11 Lite ISO on my virtual machine and show you that how exactly it look like, what kind of performance it give you and what all has been removed from this new Windows 11 Lite ISO. And I will be starting from the installation screen so that I can show you that if there is any kind of difference has been made in this new Windows 11 Lite. Okay, so first you will be getting this Windows 11 page. You will have to choose your product language, currency and time format. Click on next. Click on install now. Next, we will be getting the activate windows screen. So I will click on I don't have a product key. So almost the same screen that we get in a genuine Windows 11 copy. So accept the term. Click on next. Click on custom. I will not be creating any partition. So I will click on next and the installation will now be started. All right, so finally we came to the configuration page and one thing that I noticed that the installation was a little quick. I'm not sure that it was exactly uh, because of the lighted version of Windows 11 or due to any other reason. But yes, the installation was real quick. OK, so now here you have to choose your desired country or region, whichever you want to select. Click on yes. Choose your keyboard layout, then click on yes. Skip the second keyboard layout. If you want to add, you can add it. I will skip it. Who is going to use this device so i'll just type the name like test pc then click on next it is asking me create a super memorable password as of now i will skip it but you have to go ahead and type the password it's recommended for the security so i will click on next okay so one thing i believe you have noticed it did not ask any kind of microsoft account so we don't have to go with that annoying page where it asks you to log in with the microsoft account it directly gave me an option to uh, create a local account that exactly what we did and not only the microsoft account if you have noticed it did not give any other option to choose the privacy and other, any other options that we usually get in the windows 11 installation so that's a really good part of this feature this tool and so far the tool is working absolutely perfect now let's see after the installation what kind of uh, performance we get what kind of space has been occupied and what kind of things are being debloated all right guys so finally the windows 11 Lite has been now installed and now you can see a very neat and clean page and in the startup item there is not any kind of application not any kind of bloatware so even if i click on all apps so you can see that it only shows me file explorer microsoft edge store notepad windows backup security and windows tool that's it all the bloatware all the unwanted 
application has been removed. And now let's see that what kind of a space is being occupied in the C drive. So if I go to the properties, so you can see around 10.9 gigabyte space has only been used by this Windows 11. Now if you go with the regular Windows 11, it occupy around 20 gigabyte of space. So again, there is a huge difference in the space occupied after installing Windows 11. Now one thing, if you look over the desktop, you will find that the WinUtil tool will be automatically installed on your desktop and if I double click on it so now it will be installing and loading all kind of file and I'm very sure this is the Chris Titus tool only so that you can customize you can do any kind of changes even after installing Windows 11 and here it goes yes so here is the Chris Titus tool now in the stall section if you want to install any kind of application like any kind of browser like Chrome any kind of communication app like Discord, Skype, then you can do that. Uh, Microsoft tool, the Pro tool, many kind of utilities and many kind of other options. Similarly, you can go in the tweak section, you can go in the config section and if you want to make any kind of changes, then you can do that. And now let's see what about the utilization of the CPU and the memory. So if I go to the performance tab. Okay, now here in the CPU, the process count is around 125. The threads are around 1300 handle count is around 49,000 so again there is a lot of difference and the utilization is being reduced same with the memory and the disk usage now the only problem that i found with this custom iso that it doesn't show up the lan connection so right now you can see i'm connected with the wi-fi and if i bring up the network connections now the only problem that i found with this chris titus debloated windows 11 copy that the lan connection is not working so if I show you my connection, so you can see I'm connected with the Wi-Fi and if I open the network connection, so you can see that it only show me the Wi-Fi adapter and the LAN adapter is missing. Now I'm not sure that the problem is while debloating the Windows 11 copy or just because I'm using a virtual machine. But yes, I will find out a solution and I will surely update you in the comment section. So that's all guys for today. Hopefully you found this video helpful. And if yes, do not forget to like and subscribe. If you have any kind of question, any doubt, you can let me know in the comment section. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.